Hey everybody, welcome to the Research Survival Guide. Did you get signed up to a big research project and it feels like you've just been asked to climb Mount Everest? Been there. Totally get it. But guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. I'm here to show you that research can actually be an adventure, not just an anxiety inducing marathon. So buckle up, grab your notebooks, and let's turn you into a research rock star. Ah, you know, research really is like a journey. You've got your starting point, that initial spark of curiosity, a question that sends you down the rabbit hole. And just like any good adventure, there are going to be twists and turns, unexpected discoveries, maybe even a few detours along the way. But that's okay. The important thing is to be prepared to have a map and maybe a few snacks for those late night study sessions. Ah, uh, who are we kidding? Snacks are essential for all study sessions. I'm going to share with you the tools and tips to navigate this journey, to not just survive, but to really thrive. I'll break down the process into manageable steps, offer some encouragement, because we all need a cheerleader sometimes. And by the end, you'll be looking at research as an exciting challenge, not a daunting task. So are you ready to embark on this research adventure with me? All right, adventures. First things first, we need a destination in the research world. That's your research question. This is your compass, your guidance star, the thing that keeps you on track when you inevitably find yourself knee deep in books and articles. The key here is to be specific instead of a broad topic like, let's say, social media and mental health. Try something along the lines of, how does the use of Instagram affect anxiety levels in teenagers? See the difference? Specific questions lead to more focused and impactful research. Don't be afraid to spend time crafting your question. Brainstorm, write down any ideas that come to mind, and don't be afraid to refine it as you go. Remember, a well-defined question is the foundation of a successful research project. It sets the stage for everything that follows, so make sure it's something you're genuinely curious about, because trust me, that curiosity will be your fuel when going along this research. And when the going gets tough, this will help you out. So all right, we've got our campus. Now we need our supplies. In, re in the research world, those are your sources. Think of it like packing for a trip. You wouldn't just throw random things in a suitcase and hope for the best, right? You need the essentials. The things that will help you navigate your journey for research. Those essentials are credible sources. Academic databases like Google Scholar and JSTOR are your best friends. They're like treasure troves of reliable information. And hey, we've all been there. Wikipedia is fine for a quick overview. But when it comes to serious research, you'll want to dig deeper. Look for peer-reviewed journals, academic books, and reputable websites, because such sources have gone through rigorous vetting processes, ensuring the information is accurate and reliable. Now imagine this, you're on your research journey, you've gathered a package full of amazing sources, but you opened it up and it's just a jumbled mess. Notes everywhere, articles spilling out, you can't find anything. That's why organization is key. Think of it like packing cubes for your research. You can use tools like Evernote and Zotero to create digital folders. Keep your notes organized or go the old school with physical folders and color-coded index cards. Whatever your style, find a system that works for you and stick to it. Trust me, when it's time to write your paper or presentation, you'll be thanking your organized self. Now, you've got your research question, your resources or sources are lined up, you're organized, now it's time to put pen to paper, fingers to keyboard. Remember, writing is a process. Your first draft 
is not going to be perfect. And that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. It's expected. Free to get your ideas down and then go back and revise. And then revise again. And maybe one more time for good measure. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback from professors, classmates, or writing centers. They can offer fresh perspectives and help you catch those pesky typos we all miss sometimes. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and your research paper won't be either. Look, we've all been there. Hunched over a desk, fueled by coffee and sheer willpower, pulling an all-nighter to finish that paper. But here's the thing. Research doesn't have to be a recipe for burnout. In fact, it shouldn't be. Remember to take care of yourself throughout the process. Your brain and your body will thank you. Schedule regular breaks, go for walks, get some fresh air, eat some healthy snacks, meet your friends, you know the drill. And don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Research can feel like a solidarity endeavor, for sure, but it doesn't have to be. Remember those professors and mentors we talked about? They're not just there to grade your papers. They're a valuable support system. Ah, now, found a breakthrough source, didn't you? Treat yourself to something nice, once you do. Every step forward, no matter how small, deserves to be celebrated. So go ahead, do a little dance, grab some ice cream with friends, or just take some time to appreciate the moment. Appreciate what you have done and how far you've come. You're on an incredible journey of discovery, and that's something worth celebrating. So enjoy the moment and celebrate every step of the way. And there you have it, folks. This is a simple research survival guide. Track full of tips and tricks to help you survive, but also thrive on your research journey. Remember, it's all about breaking down the process, staying organized, and caring for yourself. So take it easy. Everything eventually works out just fine. Good luck.